Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay and I am from Coloring Pages Bliss and I'm bringing to you today another color pencil test. Today we're going to be testing 33 different kinds of pencils. That's right, 33. I'm always looking for new ways to test color pencils that will be less subjective and more measurable so that you have a way to know how these different kinds of pencils perform. So I've been pondering this and I've come up with a way to test how pigmented these pencils are. So what we're going to do is for every single kind of pencil on this list, there's 33 of them, I'm going to pick three pencils as close to these three colors as possible. Now that's not going to be possible for all of the different kinds of pencils, but we'll get as close as we can. And then for each of these samples, we'll swatch them out in their individual sections here. And then we're going to do a little test using a solvent called Odorless Mineral Spirits. This is by Gamzol here. And we're going to test how pigmented each of those are. I'll show you how we're going to do that after we get all of these 33 different kinds of pencils swatched. So that's 99 pencils I'm going to swatch, so we're going to hit fast forward and let you watch the beautiful colors appear. Let's go! I finished it. That was 99 little half inch squares and 99 little quarter inch squares and oh boy was that a lot of work. In fact we're on day two of this project because I had to give my hand a rest after all of that. But now we are ready to move on to the most interesting part of this process. And what we're going to do is take this Gamzol, which is an odorless mineral spirit, and a paintbrush. This is just a flat ordinary paintbrush, just a small bristled brush, and I'm going to apply the Gamzol to each square, and then what will happen is the Gamzol breaks down the fillers and the waxes and the oils in the color pencil, and it releases pretty much the pigment and allows me to drag the pigment out from within the confines of that half inch square. We're going to see how far I can drag the pigment. And then each of the pigments will receive two scores. One for full pigment and one for partial pigment. And 
every single pencil is going to get three colors tested. I figured that will be the fairest way to do this. And then all of those scores will be added up and then divided by three and that will be the total score for that particular pencil. After that process is done for all 33 pencils, we will take all the total scores and plug them in to these charts. And then we'll be able to tell what the top five pigmented pencils are and the top five worst pigmented pencils are. I'm so excited to find this out. So let's get going. So I keep my Gamzol poured into little dropper bottles like this and then I can carry it around in my art supply bag easier. So what I'll be doing is keeping small amounts of the Gamzol in a bowl and that will be easier for me to get to it with my paintbrush. Okay, we'll bring up the first page and I'm going to make sure, first of all, that my brush is nice and clean from any previous projects. As I'm doing this process, I'm trying to stay very true to the actual half inch square, keeping my brush in that square. And you can kind of feel when it feels like the pigment has been pulled out as far as possible. You can't feel the waxy fillers anymore because the solvent has um, dissolved it all and so that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm waiting for that moment where it feels like all the solvent has been dissolved and I can't pull the pigment any farther so here's a good example of why I wanted to do the three different colors um, even in one kind of pencil different pencils will have different amounts of pigment. So I didn't think it would be fair just to pick one color in each line. I wanted to pick three so we had a fair range of pigmentation in each line of pencils. Another great thing about this test is it doesn't really matter what shade of green or blue or red I was able to find in the set because it's really more about the pigment and the strength of the pigment that we're testing here. So even though every set didn't have exactly the right color I was looking for when I was doing the swatches, it doesn't really matter. I tried to get as close as possible, but in the end it's all about how far that pigment is going to travel here as I'm pulling it out with the odorless mineral spirits. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the kind of paper I'm using. This is my favorite paper that I always use for my color pencils. This is the paper I use for all the color pencil reviews as well. And there's a link to this paper in the description of this video. So as you're watching me apply this odorless mineral spirits to these pencils, which pencil do you think will perform the best? Which pencil do you think is going to perform the worst? Do you think this is a valid test for pigmentation of color pencils? Comment below, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you think this is a valuable video and you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos on my channel, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, we have all 33 kinds of pencils tested. Each color swatch has been treated with the odorless mineral spirits and now it's time to measure and take down the results over here in the score column. So what I'm going to do now is look at each of the streams of pigment here and look at where I feel like the pigment sort of is the strongest and where that ends and I'll make a mark. And then I'm going to mark where I feel like the most useful of the pigment stops. So, you know, really the pigment probably stops way out here, but only I could see that and that's really not useful color. But there's still some useful color right here. So I would mark it right here as the end of useful color and probably the strongest of the pigment ends right here. So that will be the two scores for the Prismacolor Premier Red, which is 40 for the full pigment score. 
and I'll give it about a 100 for the partial pigment score. I'm going to do that for the blue and the green. All of those numbers will be added up and put here and then divided by three with my calculator and that will give us the total score for the Prismacolor Premier pencils. We're going to do that for all 33 pencil brands here and then we can do our final score. Okay, here we go. Okay, so after three days of filming and a lot of work, I finally have some results to share with you for this color pencil pigmentation test. Now all along, the, my whole goal of this test was to be as non-subjective as possible and to give to you a measurable result. Now the more I worked on it, the more I realized that it's pretty impossible to remove, I guess, the human factor of this. I mean, did I do the same amount of coloring in each one of these squares? I'm not too sure. I tried to be as consistent as possible. Did I use the same amount of odorless mineral spirits from square to square? I'm not too sure. Again, I tried to be as consistent as possible. When I was laying down the pencils and trying to determine where the full pigment ended and the partial pigment ended, I tried to be as fair and consistent as possible. But again, I don't think you could ever remove the human factor and so there is going to be some subjective factors in these results. So please take that into account as you're listening and hearing these results. Everything's going to be on the blog so if you'd like to come and look at the finished results of the odorless mineral spirits smearing the pigment across the paper, please come and visit it and you can see it for yourself. And as we go out and give you the results I'll give you a few more of my insights because I truly think that this is just one factor in your decision as you are purchasing pencils pencils and there's a lot of factors that go into my favorite pencils and I think you're going to be surprised at some of these results. So let's get into it. Let's see the top 10 results of the color pencil pigmentation test. I'm going to bring out the first five on the list for you to see. Okay, here they are. We've got the Crayola Twistable Color Pencils. Now these are the color pencils, not the twistable crayons. There's been a little debate on my YouTube channel as to whether I've been testing twistable crayons or color pencils. So please be assured that these are actual color pencils. We've also got the Prangs. These came in at number nine. And at number eight was the Artist Loft. This is a Michaels store brand, color pencils. At number seven was the Color Pencils by Pentel. And a surprise to me was the number six, Recycled Color Pencils. And this is a really good example of that this um, result should only be one factor in deciding what pencils you purchase because these are actually some of my favorite color pencils right here. And they made it onto the worst list. Very strange. Okay, so let's move on to now the top five worst color pencils. Okay, coming in at number five is the Color It brand. And again, this is a brand that is fun to color with and it's coming in with a low pigmentation, but they have really good packaging and so this is a nice brand. It just happens to come low on this test. 
Number four is Prismacolor Color Erase. Number three is the Statler 1270 Pencils. Number two is my other Statler brand, the Ergosoft, and this is supposed to be a higher level brand than the Statler 1270, so it's strange that it came in with worse pigmentation than the 1270. And the number one worst pigmented pencils in this group are the Crazy Art Color Pencils. So that is the results of my color pigmentation test for the worst pigmented pencils. All right, now I bet you're wondering what could possibly be the best. So let's move on to the best. Okay, so I'm excited to tell you about the top 10 best. And coming in at number 10, are the Prismacolor Varathin pencils. And I was a little surprised by this because I have always felt that they're a little lower pigmented, but they did really good on my test. So they are number 10. Number nine are the Kohinoor Polycolors. And these are a beautiful pencil and I highly recommend these. These are wonderful to work with. Number eight was a surprise. They are the Sargent Art Construction Paper Pencils. These are a lot of fun to work with and they are quite high pigmented, but they only come in 12 little colors. But they are 12 potent little colors, so if you can get your hands on them, I recommend them. And number seven are going to be my Prismacolor Premier Pencils. But we do have a little, um, disqualification to talk about before we talk about the Prismacolor Premier pencils. Now right in front of them in the results came in the Studio Series pencils. This is a set that um, I've had fun coloring with but I don't recommend because the wood on these pencils are a little weak and I've had some of them break but I'm hoping Studio Series will eventually um, upgrade their pencils because they are really fun to color with. So just so you know they did come in on the top 10 list um, I just wanted to mention that they were here but I did take them out of the running because of the issues I've had with them here in my studio okay but we do have the Prismacolor premieres to talk about next and I was surprised they didn't land higher on the list because they are one of my favorites and that's like I said another reason why this is only one factor in the deciding factors of what pencils you choose to use in your art okay let's see what's next on the list Number six are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. What? They didn't come in at number one or number two? Very surprising, huh? So what could have beat them out? Let's see. At number five, we've got the Derwent Color Soft. Now, if you saw the video I recently uploaded about white color pencils, you know we discovered white as being an awesome Derwent pencil. Well, they actually did really good on this test as well, so that's pretty exciting. So well done, Derwent Color Soft. Okay, let's check out number four. On the list are the Soho Urban Artist Pencils. These come from jerrysartorama.com, so if you want to pick those up, you can check out that website. They turned out beautifully. Now we have another disqualification I wanted to mention that came in right at about the same score as these Soho, and they were the Color Collection by Conte. And the reason I disqualified these is because they came out with a strange pigmentation. And what I'm guessing is that there's some sort of filler or something going on with these pencils that they didn't react correctly with the odorless mineral spirit. So I don't think it was fair to include them with the results. Um, they came out all kind of grainy or something. And so I think it's more fair just to um, take them out of the running rather than keep them in here. Now they did have beautiful pigmentation. They just didn't react correctly to the odorless mineral spirits and that's why I've decided that we'll just take them out of the running. So that's why Soho Urban Artists came in at number four. 
Okay, so now we've got the top three to talk about. And number three is one of my favorite pencils. And that is the Koenor Woodless Color Pencils. And these are so much fun to color with. If you haven't tried them yet, I think you're gonna like them. They are highly pigmented, so I wasn't surprised to see them come up on this list. So, number two are the gorgeous and delicious Karen Dash Luminance Pencils, which I was shocked. I thought for sure these would be number one. When I did the test on them, they came out so gorgeous. And so for them to hit number two, I was so excited to find out what could possibly be number one. And let's see what they are. Number one is the Blick Studio Artist Color Pencils. Now these you can only pick up on dickblick.com and they are gorgeous pencils. I have had a lot of fun coloring with them, but in no way did I expect them to come in number one on this pigmentation test. So this was very exciting to have them come in. They're very well priced and a very fun set to color with. So I, I'm excited to recommend them to you to try out as a new line of pencils to try. Very fun. So congratulations Blick on making it as my number one best pigmented pencil in this big group of pencils. Now remember this is just one factor in deciding your pencils and there are so many awesome brands to pick from. Okay there you have it. There's the results. The top 10 worst and the top 10 best pigmented pencils according to this pigmentation test. What do you think? Was this a good way to test pencils? Make sure you comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit a like. And I think I'm going to take these Blick Studio pencils downstairs and do some coloring. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.